and threatening her hands. Um, your partner does not need you to be every time. Ah, uh, I'm sick. You look haggard because you are sick. You look unkempt uh, because you are tired. You are not always um elsewise okay. Be a woman. You take your time to take care of yourself. No matter how busy you are, no matter how tedious your work is, you create time to take care of yourself. A woman or a lady that cannot take care of herself to look good, to look healthily okay, your partner don't need it. That is the fact. If you are looking always sick, looking so haggard, looking so rough, so rugged, your partner don't need your partner will always be proud when he sees you healthy, when he sees you looking good. As a woman, as a lady, you learn to keep your health intact. You need to take care of yourself because the truth is, time or age doesn't tell when you take care of yourself. But when you don't take care of yourself, your age tells on you. There are so many ladies and women out there at 16 or 17, 18, they look like someone that is 40 because they don't take care of themselves. And you see women at 50, 60, they look so young, like under 30. Why? Because they take care of themselves. You don't expect your partner to get married to you. And because you feel like you are too being stressed and you decide not to take care of yourself, not to maintain yourself. The next thing you expect on your partner is to look outside. So, you maintaining yourself, taking care of your health, taking care of yourself, being active, and never being sluggish in everything you are doing. We always keep your partner to look you that well. I love the way my partner is. She is up there. She is upright. She is looking good. And you will look presentable. There are some men out there that they can't present their partners outside. Why? Because men, the appearance of their partner has said everything and they will feel so discouraged. So I implore you, a, a man wants a lady or a woman that take care of themselves. Something just came up my mind. Like most mothers now, many women, they are prone to um, tying wrapper at home. I am not saying it's bad. But it, we are at the age, at the era that is, um, at the civilized era. You don't expect you, because you've given birth to so many children or you've given birth to a child, the next thing you start everywhere in the house, you tie wrapper, you walk barefoot, you look rugged, you don't even bait. What do you expect from your partner? Your partner will go out there, but the moment you learn your maintenance your maintenance starts from you the way you look tells about your home so those are one of the characteristics that your partner needs in you it's already in the in the bible in verse um in verse 17 which says she guided her leons with strength and strengthened her hands so if you are the sluggish type learn to be active learn to exercise Every, if this period of um, the coronavirus, this coronavirus season, everybody I watch on internet are doing exercise. Everybody are complaining. They are getting fatter. They are getting fatter. And everybody are exercising. Don't, you don't expect after the pandemic, you come out and you, your partner sees you like times 10. And you feel that your partner will be so happy. No. You learn to keep your shape. If you are if you are kind of big, you learn to be big, bold, and beautiful. If you are the skinny type, you learn to be model and beautiful. So those are one of the characteristics. Many people will say it is not all about beauty. Beauty is one of the criteria that your partner wants in you. You might not be so beautiful, but your outcoming, the way you come out, the way you look, your dressing, your skin, the way you, you keep yourself, tells more about you. So those are one of the things that your partner really wants in you. And another point that I'll be bringing out that be a woman or a lady that is sensitive and attentive to everything you do and the things around you. 
I'll be reading that from verse 18 in um, Proverbs 31. It says, She perceives that a merchandise is good, a candle goeth not out by night. In this aspect, I'll be I'll be letting us know that if you are not sensitive enough to know everything that is going on around you, you are not attentive. All you just do, you do things, just do it. No. I'll, or, or your partner wants you to be attentive, to be sensitive to things. And now I'll be pointing this like to our mothers out there, those that are married, that has kids. There are so many mothers that are not even attentive to their children. Also, you might not be married, but you have a child. We, many of them don't take attention on their children. So many of them will even dress out, but their children look somehow. Your child might be sick, and you are not attentive, you are not sensitive to know what is going on. Many mothers have lost their children in this way. Because they are not attentive and they are not sensitive. As a single lady getting set to marry, everything around you, you need to be sensitive. Your partner expects you to know things about him. If you see things that are wrong, you let him know. You learn to be sensitive. You learn to be attentive. Not everything you just overlook. We don't overlook things. The more we overlook things, the more problem becomes. We should learn to be sensitive. If you are sensitive and attentive to everything, it makes your partner happy. So those are one of the characteristics that we need. Learn to be sensitive. Be a woman that is sensitive. Be a lady that is sensitive. Be attentive in everything that you do and in everything that is around you i'll go to the next point if you are just joining me please click the like button and share as you continue to listen i'm talking about what men want in their partners that is i'm talking about the ladies that are trying to get settled down and those that are married mothers wives also so there are characters that we exhibit that is not pleasing at all. And most of all these characters has been drawing many singles, being single till date. I'm taking many women out of their marriages. So I'm trying to let us know that the characteristics that a virtuous woman is supposed to have. And everything I'm trying to relate here, I took it from Proverb 31 from verse 10. So I'm trying to relate it to our daily life activities. Thank you so much. And so I'll be taking the next one is be kind hearted. Giving should be in you. Giving should be your character. Giving should just be one of the things you love doing. There are so many ladies or women out there to give is a problem, but you always want to receive. We don't have that acts. We don't have that charity in us. You might have, you might feel that you have just a little, but you giving someone out of the little you have is something very nice. And out, now let me let me classify this in two categories. Now, let me start with the singles that are about to get married or that are trying to get settled down. If you have a partner and your partner notices that. If helping people is always a problem to you, you and your partner will have issues. Because it will feel that the moment you get married, definitely you will stop him from helping people. And by doing so, enmity will start being created. There are so many ladies out there, they just want everything going on to be for them and within their environs just for them and their household, their families, like that. But the moment their partner should do something out for somebody, it's a problem. Guys or men, they do take note of this kind of character. And the moment they see that their partner is such a person, they will try to flee from that person because they know that it will affect them in the future. 
So as a lady, learn to have that art of giving. And when you even give, don't make it a kind of a thing of pride. You might give someone something, you might help today. You mustn't expect reward from that same person. Now, in the other side, for those that are already married and are settled, learn to have the heart of giving because the children, your generation to come, it is a seed that you are planting. Many of us we have, but we don't want to, we don't want our husbands to help people out there. Have you forgotten that we are just like an ocean, we flow anywhere? Whatever seed you plant today, your children will definitely reap from it. So if you are married and you don't have that heart of giving, you learn to give, learn to cultivate that habit. If your husband doesn't have that heart, you learn to inculcate that habit into your husband that give. I know some people have given and they say they will given wrongly. But do your own part and leave the rest for God. Because giving is a seed that is sown. You might not reap it now, but you will reap it later or sooner. It might not be you that will reap it. It might be your children or your children's children that will reap it. Giving has, already, has given so many people um, uh, ways. I've given so many people opportunities. The good that their families have done out there, they've, already, they've gained it through it. There are some people that have gone out there to look for jobs. They've not seen, but be, calling your father's name, and they ask you, uh, which, of this, which of the person is that? And you describe your father, and your father or your mother has done something good to that person. That alone will grant you favor. So if your partner... Is that kind of given person? Let them give. Don't be a, 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 a stock there. Don't be a blockade. No. So every guy that want to get settled and they need a, a, a partner that also has the art of giving like them. And if you are the one that has the art of giving, you learn your partner. You tell your partner to also have the art of giving. So most men, what they want in a woman. Or in a lady that they want to get married to is that they should have the heart of giving and also another point i'll be bringing out in verse 21 it said she is not afraid of the snow for her household for all her household are clothed with scarlet which means every woman or every lady who protects her own spiritually and physically are the choices of men you learn to be protective you protect your home if you are a lady you are not yet married you learn you need to learn to be prayerful at this point because marriage is not just where you jump into there are so many there are so many battles in marriages let the truth be told there are physical battles, there are spiritual battles. The moment you get settled down, the moment you do that um, wedding ceremony, number one, issues start coming. You start seeing some spiritual attack. And if you are not strong enough, it will bounce you out of your marriage. So as a single lady, at this point, you learn to be spiritually and physically capable to protect your home. And if you are already married and spiritually you are sleeping, physically you can't even protect your own, you need to awake. Because every woman needs to be a prayer warrior. There are so many qualifications of a woman. You don't need to go to school for it. A woman has the qualification of medicine. They are doctors. A woman is a caretaker. A woman is a cook. A woman is a banker. A woman has so many qualities. So praying and protecting your home is one of the qualities that your partner wants in you. If you are single, you don't know how to pray. You have to start learning to pray. You, your partner might not show you that ah, I love a woman that prays. But 
you should know that the prayers you needed because that is what will keep your home ahead. And even more, those that are married now, it is prayers that do keep most marriages this time. There are so many marriages that are broken. Many things that comes out physically in marriages that got broken. Many has been programmed spiritually. So if spiritually you are not strong enough to protect your home, to protect your marriage, physically it will definitely get collapsed. It takes the grace of God for marriage to stand. And it also takes the grace of you being able to stand for it to stand also. So I implore you, what a man wants in his or his partner, being single, trying to get settled down, you must be physically and spiritually ready to protect your home. And if you are already married, you need to wake up to protect your home spiritually and physically. I am not, if I say spiritually, everyone knows how they protect themselves. But the greatest spiritual coverage is you praying with your own mouth to God. The God you serve. If you can open your mouth to pray, you don't need to start dipping your head from one abalist to the other. Or telling people to help me to pray or help me to do so so incantation to protect my home. You God has already given you the power to stand because He made you a helpmate to your partner. And as a helpmate, being the neck that is supporting the head, you should know that you should be strong enough because the head alone is a very heavy kind of device. So for this tiny neck to hold the head, you should know that it has a solid ground that is standing so for you to know that your partner needs a solid rock to stand upon that is what men want they don't want a woman or a lady that is physically and spiritually sleeping you need to be alert you need to protect your home those are one of the characteristics or qualities that defines you as a woman or a lady that your man wants and another point I'll be bringing out is be a woman 